Well, hey guys, this is Scott and Ariane from This Nomadic Idea. Um, tonight, I'm in the Airstream. It is a beautiful night, full moon, stars, and gonna get cold. It's gonna get down to 32 degrees, which is a perfect night to test the wood burning stove versus propane. And we're gonna test which one warms up faster, which one gives off more humidity, less humidity, and all around performance. And I get to review our Cubic Mini, so I'm excited. So what I did to test this is that I've got a thermostat right here. Right now it's 45 degrees out. It, it's 45 degrees in the Airstream. Um, it's actually 39 degrees outside air temperature. And it's 10.30 p.m. It is 67% relative humidity inside the Airstream. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the propane for one hour and we're gonna test what the air temperature in the Airstream does versus the humidity. Then we're gonna turn it off we're gonna wait till it goes back to 45 degrees and then we're gonna fire up the wood burning stove. So it's probably gonna be a long night for me, but I wanna test this because it's important to know what numbers the wood burning stove can do, what it can't do, what a propane heat situation in our RV can do, what it can't do, and what are the pros and cons for each. So I put the thermostat back in the back bedroom because that's really where we're gonna be sleeping and that's where I wanna gauge what heat gets pushed all the way back. So the cubic minis in the front and the propane heater is in the front. So for this experiment, I'm gonna be using the Mr. Heater Buddy. You can buy these at Walmart. Um, they run anywhere between you know, 45, 60 bucks. I know they make a bigger one than this, but you can get the regular Coleman uh, propane heaters uh, for these things. Th these things will last a pretty long time. Now, I did a pre-test last night and I was really, really super surprised on how well this heater did. Okay, so the heat buddy is on. We're gonna see um, what it does. So we'll see you in one hour and we'll look at the numbers. It is 11.40, um, so I've had the heater buddy going on for an hour. Now remember, we are heating 190 square foot of space, okay? The heater buddy can be hooked up to a 20 gallon propane tank or a 30 gallon propane tank. It doesn't really make any difference. Um, it's how long you run your propane. So in the one hour, that we've been running the heat button. We've increased the temperature by three degrees, but we've also increased the humidity by, and it just clicked up, just as I'm watching this, is at 71%. So we've gone from a 67% in one hour to 71% humidity. So you're like, well, what did the outside temperature do? So we've increased the humidity from uh, 67% to 71%. So, you know, when you get condensation in your tent, because you're breathing all the time, you're in a very, very small, small space. But when you exhale, you're putting out moisture. If you ever feel like you get wet inside your sleeping bag, it's probably because you're cold, you put your sleeping bag over knee, over your head and you breathe inside your sleeping bag. You exhale, you're putting moisture in your bag. In an RV, it's not any different. Propane does not put out carbon monoxide. Only when the flame is not on, you will put out carbon monoxide. That's why you should always have a carbon monoxide detector in your RV. But with propane, the when it's burning, when it's hot, you are burning off the carbon monoxide. But it does put water vapor out there. It does put moisture out there. So that's why when you run propane, you, you have everything wet inside your RV. 
And that's what I'm testing tonight. So since I've been here, we've gone from, we, we've gone up to 71% and it's clicked to 50 degrees. So the propane has actually increased the temperature by five degrees since I'm doing it. So I'm gonna turn off the heater, buddy. I'm gonna let this drop back down to 45 degrees and then fire up the cubic mini. Okay, it's uh, 12. 53 almost 1 o'clock in the morning um, the temperature is back down to about 43 degrees um, 2 degrees lower than when I started the propane heat the relative humidity though inside the Airstream has really changed so when we took the last reading at 11 o'clock or 1050 the relative humidity was 70 to 71 percent with the propane going for an hour so it was at 70 to 71 it's dropped down to 62 percent with no heat nothing going on so let's check what's going on outside okay so so outside right now it's 37 degrees and the relative humidity is at 72% outside. <clears throat> okay, so it's about one o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna fire up the Cubic Mini and uh, we'll see what happens. It's uh, two o'clock in the morning. And uh, so let me give you some stats. Okay, so we're at 54 degrees with a relative humidity of 66% inside the Airstream. When we last tested with propane heat for an hour, that this was at 11 o'clock p.m. We were at 70 to 71% humidity and we had a inside temperature of 50 degrees. That's, you know, I mean, I've gotta say that that's humidity wise, that's a big difference. I mean, outside temperature right now, the humidity is, see it just changed. The humidity is at 81% and the temperature now is at 35 degrees. So we're at 54 with a relative hu humidity of 65%. That's, that's a huge difference, huge. So what are the pros and cons? Well, I'm gonna give you my review tomorrow morning when I wake up and I start the fire again, because I think in the morning time, when you get up, I mean, I think you can go to bed cold, but I think in the morning time, <laughs> when the meat and potatoes are, right? In the morning time. So anyway, I'm gonna give you my full review and the pros and cons tomorrow morning when I get up. Right now, it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm going to bed. Okay, um, good morning. Um, it is uh, Thanksgiving morning and uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. So I woke up this morning, it was 30, 36, 37 degrees in the Airstream. I'd let the uh, wood burning stove go. Um, I don't know, it's probably uh, until about maybe four o'clock. And then I'm like, you know, I was pretty warm and very toasty. So I woke up um, at about, uh, I'd say about eight o'clock. Um, didn't get much sleep last night. Um, and so this morning, it's a beautiful day. Uh, the roosters are roostering, chickens all over. Goats are here. It's a beautiful sunshine morning, but it was chilly. And so the first thing I did was, uh, usually the first thing I do is my coffee, but today, this morning, the first thing I did was um, I started a fire. And uh, it was really easy to, to light, get going again. That's one of the things I like about the Cubic Mini. Right now it's about 8.30. Um, I've already got the uh, I've already got the airstream up to 50 degrees, but I really like it. Um, I woke up, there was no condensation anywhere. 
there was not one drop of water in this whole RV. And I think that's the key. I think that's the big difference is the humidity and the condensation that propane is going to get off versus a wood burning stove. Now we'll see. Um, I, I, I guess the pros of the wood burning stove is that there's less humidity. There's no condensation. You can get it hot pretty quick inside. It's again, it's 190 square foot airstream and so that I like the downside to the cubic mini is that you're gonna be stoking that fire every 45 minutes to an hour and that's the one thing you have to know going in is that is it worth it on a real cold night yeah it probably is do you have to make sure that you have enough wood um, to last uh, a couple days when you're traveling in cold winter months Yes, you're going to. Um, you can pre-order all of this wood. Um, I did find Ace Hardware of all places that make the that make the eco-friendly logs that are it's hardwood and it's just really compressed sawdust, and uh, those work awesome. And so you can get a lot of those and store them in your stream, and that could probably take you about a week if you ran this thing every single night for seven days so you're going to have to keep up with that you're you'll be pre-ordering it on the road amazon sells it so that would that would be a tricky part of the uh the cubic mini if you are going to travel in colder weather if you're going to be stationary in colder weather well then heck you could have all this stuff delivered and you know wait out two three months or two months um, while you're visiting family, wherever, and it's going to be cold outside. And it's worth it. Um, traveling, I can see that being a little bit of an issue. Of course, the propane is easy, quick, flick it on. Um, but you're going through propane tanks. And the other thing with propane is that you're also using it for other, other things. You're using it for, you know, your hot water, using it for your stove when you cook, and you're using it for a lot of a lot of other things and then when you you heat your uh your your rv so you're going to have to fill up on propane you know how much is um a week's worth or two weeks worth of wood or months worth of wood versus a 20 gallon tank of propane um these uh little wood things i buy at ace hardware are four dollars and 95 cents so I mean, I could I can buy a lot of them, you know, and still be way under the cost of what it would be to refill a propane tank. Um, so there is some cost variables back and forth. Um, you'd have to really look at it and look at your lifestyle. Now, the nice thing about the Cubic Mini Cub is that as it's heating and it's getting really hot and you're feeling that warm fire and it's a really good dry heat, um, it's on right now and it, it feels really good um, is that you can put you know your uh, like you like my other video that I uh, um, uploaded that showed how to install it once it gets going you can boil water on it so that's another heat source so let's say you run out of propane let's say you know or you're low on propane and you're like well gosh I'd, I'd love to make some soup or I'd love to make you know a hot meal with water or you know you know us backpackers you know we have freeze dried food we know how to make uh, a lot of good meals from hot water um, it'll boil water so you've got an alternative heat source that you can use without any propane whatsoever that's what I like about it and that's one of the reasons why we bought it and it kind of sold us on the multi-use piece of that gear so you can use it kind of in a pinch where you're running low on propane and you want you want hot water hot even at night while it's going let's get let's drink some hot chocolate apple cider whatever that is you put it on the cubic mini and it boils so all in all i'd say i'm pretty happy with it um i i could see like when it gets drop drops down to like 32 and it's right above the freezing mark um i'm gonna be up all night that's the downside. Um, I don't think I would mind it if it was ready to go and we had everything ready. Um, 
I don't want to be outside collecting wood at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's for sure. But, you know, um, I've done it before when we've been camping. So, anyway, um, that's it. Um, I hope you guys got some value on the difference between wood burning and propane in an RV. Uh, again, I think, the, I think the humidity level and the condensation matter is a big deal. Um, but not everyone's going to throw a wood-burning stove in their RV for sure. Um, but if you do, let me know. Ask questions. I'd love to um, get your input on um, some numbers and what you think the cost would be back and forth. I'd love to hear your opinions. I know we have a lot of smart people on this channel. So um, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I'm going to ask my coffee. I'm going to get ready. It's Thanksgiving. I'm heading back to Atlanta today to be with Ariane. Uh, she's working today, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and be a member of our community. We'd really super appreciate it. We'll see you later. Bye.